about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It's amazing how many people remain in difficulties when there is a route to cheap victory. The kingdom of God operates systemically. If you don't know how these things happen, you can labor and labor and labor and labor and labor and create a theology out of your pain that this dimension is not possible. And believe that any other person walking in that dimension must be caught in corner spiritually somewhere. No. It told Cain, it says if you offer it, paraphrasing according to pattern, will it not be accepted? The problem was never because you were king. You refused to do it accordingly. Are we together? I was hearing the testimonies of these this people here and I just sat down. And in my mind I'm saying how many other people need the same thing but don't know how to receive it. There are people who are not very wise. There are people who are not very smart. Honestly, there are people who are not very connected but among the many principles they've painfully adhered to is the foolishness of believing the prophetic word of the Lord and they have watched their lives enter dimensions and there are many of us who have come with our philosophies and exaggeration of intellectualism we have stretched everything we know from border to border and all that is left in our lives today is shame shame that vetoes everything your studies whatever there is a way out brothers and sisters there is a more excellent way god brings us here because he loves us and because he wants to help us don't allow the patterns of failure to be too much in your life plenty of people have failed for you already why must you go through all of this again and by a prophet not by a man not by a preacher not by an orator not by a bible reader listen carefully not by one who oil was on his head like just pouring oil and by a prophet how you know he is a prophet is when you are truly delivered anybody can say go out the results justify the office the results justify the mantle because every office God institutes on earth there is a prototype of it in heaven are we together now so when you speak here on earth the same way that throne that system of governance allocated to your grace to validate that he truly called you in that dimension ministers to the people and there are angels that signify anointings listen carefully don't just be conscious of the presence of the holy spirit alone he's not the only spiritual force at work there are angels listen carefully that validate anointings there is a kind of anointing you carry and certain angels start following you there is a kind of mantle a mantle is not an anointing there is a kind of mantle you carry that certain angels come listen there is an office you occupy that necessitates the operation of certain not just angels angels are not the only beings that assist men in heaven there are many we only just know angels as we call them they are all messengers 
but they don't do the same thing the revelation of jesus which he gave unto his servant john he sent it and signified it by his angel not an angel his angel an angel connected to that dimension so you are calling to the healing ministry if it is true you are called there are a kind of angels that should walk so when the word of god because they confirm the word of his messengers when that word is released at the authorization of the spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit is the master governor of every spiritual operation so even when the bride speaks they watch on the spirit for permission when the spirit says let it be done let me tell you the same way the bible says the spirit came to resurrect jesus from the dead but we see the dynamics at the instance of the spirit an angel came rolled away the stone sat on it holy spirit you can come he rolled away the stone the holy spirit does not just walk maybe the way some of us think there are real angels so when you come for koinonia it's not just enough it's not only seats you have come to see the human beings you see are a very minute fraction of the hosts of heaven listen a church is not a church because of people a church is a church because there must be an access point from that church to the gates of heaven jacob the first mention of the word house of god genesis 28 jacob came it was a stone and a background no chairs no fasting no prayer no nothing and jacob got up he saw angels ascending that means if angels are not ascending and descending that is not the house of god he said this is the gate of heaven so a church is not a church just because there's a man standing and there are people sitting there must be an access point from that location to access heaven and to release realities to people are we together every challenge in your life is relative to the grace the mantle and the office that addresses it every challenge every challenge relative relative the same way you can meet a doctor and be rambling and say doctor sir something is wrong and he just laughs and just prescribes a b c and within days he has been trained to trivialize your challenge don't allow your situation make you believe that just because it is insurmountable to you it means it's so for everybody that's pride though are you hearing what i'm saying that you have tried to access favor that you have tried to access dimensions in the spirit to see an unusual dimension of the gift of the spirit work in you that bankruptcy is not generic it's only personalized to you which is an expression of your limitation in understanding the ways of god are we together i want to pray for you you know it's not by kneeling down and all it's just by receiving we're going to get to the word but i just i just felt in my spirit the lord was impressing while i sat back there to just speak a word so that certain challenges you have done your best you are sincere i know that we are rising in faith god is helping us but the truth is that many of us at this level you have done everything to be done physically you need that prophetic push i know that i speak over your life all the time but remember i'm prophesying as i am commanded i can prophesy as i wish god will still honor it but when he commands then be ready for dry bones to become an army are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare father your word declares and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved father i stretch my hands let it be an extension of the hand that brings breakthrough that brings deliverance and i'm prophesying to someone who is in a pit right now that there is no human way you should come out in the name of jesus christ everywhere across this auditorium if there is anyone in an impossible situation i bring you out now in the name of jesus i send an anointing into that pit where you are and i declare that by a mystery in the name of jesus let the axe head that has sunk into the water i command that axe head to float now I command that axe head to float now. 
I decree and declare there are people here the pace that you are moving in life will never allow you to serve God in truth the pace is too slow to have time for God and it's a strategy by the devil because provided he keeps your mind on tea and bread provided he keeps your mind on these things you will never have the time to focus on the things that matter in the name of Jesus the Bible says the hand of God came upon Elijah and Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel in Jesus name I supply speed to your destiny I command supernatural speed speed to your destiny speed to your destiny speed to your destiny hallelujah we are praying Paul spoke and I said once and again I desire to come to you he said but Satan hindered us but Satan I desire to come to you that's your breakthrough speaking that's your lifting speaking I have desire to come but Satan hindered us I have desired just like you prayed since last year you were calling me out I desire to come but Satan hindered us in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God any dimension in the spirit or any allocation from the spirit that was designed by the ordinance of God to be captured in your destiny by now and by witchcraft or whatever manipulation you have not entered into it Shekatos Kabatiada I command the embargo that stands between you the embargo whether spiritual whether human in the name of Jesus I smash it out of your way now I smash it out of your way now I want to pray for you there are many of you your helpers are not even aware the devil has made sure that every door that will connect you to them has been closed every door nobody willing to help you you suffer alone you pray alone you fast alone you labor alone let me tell you this let me tell you this even if you have money it doesn't guarantee that you have favor favor is not all about money in fact money is, is less than one tenth of the mysteries of favor favor is the ability for men to rise up and come to your aid not just once but to remain so as a reality you can never enter your rest when you are doing everything alone who can rise up for you when adversity speaks who can rise up for you at the gates where you are not here no one advocating for your interest in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the grace and the anointing of the spirit i decree and declare i push you by prophecy into the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i push you by prophecy receive of their ministry i prophesy favor over your life I prophesy favor over your life. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and then we'll sit down. I want to pray for your finances and then I'll round up with your spiritual life. Listen, let me tell you this. You will never access finances the way many of us are approaching it. That's not the way it works. Everything is first spiritual. It's not by doing business. It's not by getting a job. Doing business and getting a job is simply a system of collecting your spiritual allocation. The Bible says God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, but they reside in heavenly places in Christ. You don't need it there. The word must be made manifest. It must be made flesh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to pray for us. Listen, let me tell you. By the grace of God, we are a people that God has helped. And by the grace of God, we are a people who 
God has proven through this ministry that if God helps you financially, you can have the time to serve him. This demonic distraction that comes by looking for what to eat, what to wear, that stops us from praying, that brings us into yokes that are uncalled for because our daily breaths must be met. That distracts us, there is no time to serve God. Seven days a week, all you are doing is looking for money. You get up in the morning, money. To sleep in the night, money. The Holy Ghost is talking, the thoughts of money chokes his voice. Let me pray for you. The Bible says, the prophet said, by this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. I want to pray. Don't be foolish. You have had the testimonies that happen. Money has a spirit. That note you see is an obedient servant. There is a spirit that controls resources. It doesn't come just like that. The spirit that the devil put in place to control financial resources is called mammon. And you never, never can access mammon without bowing to Satan. So if you want to get resources the world's way, get ready to compromise your faith, your life, your integrity, your everything for it. But there is another system in the kingdom. Are we together now? It says, Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is He, it is in His office to give you the ability, the power to prosper. Um, a lot of people have thought that the power to prosper is concepts, ideas, insights. I believe that. But that's just the physical dimension. The power to prosper is an anointing. There is an exact anointing whose assignment is to call forth resources the same way noah sat there and the animals started coming on their own that's the power to prosper it calls forth people it calls forth resources it calls forth opportunities you don't just use your mouth to call it when that grace is on you it's magnetic it is true has nothing to do with ministry has nothing to do with a job a job business and every financial vehicle only supplies the value chain for its sustainability but it's originated from the spirit are we together i want to pray over our finances if you don't need it that's all right no i i, I want to believe not everybody needs it but truly there are people here is do you know do you know let me tell you this is very very i believe that it bleeds the heart of god when we come for a meeting like this where the spirit of god wants to build our spirit wants to help us to know him and all that is in our mind is waiting for when money prophecy will come wait it's, it's a terrible thing you will never grow that way nobody grows spiritually talking about money all the time it's an issue that by the spirit of god you should access be done away with and then you can focus if you don't believe you can solve money issues to know this is solved and turn and face God then there's no point receiving this prayer there is I'm not saying you should not get your job I'm not saying you should not do your business I train I teach people to be valuable but let me tell you this it's a waste if you keep this fan and it's not collected to electricity the fan has potentials this mic although you don't see a wire there is still a technology that ultimately connects it to a generator that you cannot see it does not mean it's not there of the generator you will, I, I don't have to collect the mic from you I just disconnect it from the generator and let you keep switching off and on you are doing the right thing it should work but because it's not connected to something something that was supposed to work doesn't work again are you seeing now so you are doing what you are doing this is actually how to on the mic and off it you are correct but because the generator is disconnected from the mic you do the right thing it still doesn't work it is the life of god it is that connection that activates whatever you do when this anointing is on you it doesn't really matter what you do whatsoever he doeth whatsoever he doeth prospers in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit lord you have helped me i have seen your mercy and i've seen your grace 
you have helped this ministry we have seen your mercy father i pray that the same mercy and the same grace even in the area of finances i cry unto you right now let that grace let that unction come upon someone now let that unction come upon someone now let that unction come upon someone whose family has never believed they can rise lord may that grace be a supernatural bailout system for a family that is in need of your help right now may this anointing come upon your life and roll away shame in the name of jesus by this anointing i declare that whatever it is you are involved in i don't care whether it has prospered or not i command it i instruct it to work in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for your spiritual life listen in all your growth if you don't grow spiritually you are not growing you can have all the money in the world like i just prayed for you listen carefully you can have all the human connections but if you lose sync with what god is doing and you lose touch with spiritual realities then you will not last the value for every aspect of your life is that although these things are there your spirit is still alive unto god you are growing in an ever increasing dimension understanding not just what god wrote in the bible but his program for the nations for now if you lose touch with this present truth god's system of relevance then no matter what else you have you are irrelevant you will watch yourself being edged out of the move of god therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus every distraction over your spirit man i curse it now in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare whatever has blocked the portals of the spirit from granting you access to the deep and the current speakings of the spirit the deep and the current speakings the deep and the current speakings revelatory dimensions that communicate this present truth i command those portals to be open now in the name of jesus christ whatever has closed and frustrated your appetite for prayer the ability to not just shouting up and down staying with god staying until your spirit man is energized i declare that tonight may you be brought to a new dimension of prayer fire whatever has made you comfortable with where you are spiritually that you don't even see the need to press again in the name of jesus may tonight's teaching plant a strange hunger in your spirit every door spiritually that you are walking in that my god did not open i don't care what dimension you are facing if his word was opened by satan to distract you i shut that door now in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus please be seated lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ i welcome everyone tonight in the name of jesus it's my joy to bring us the word every time the bible declares that we should be instant in season praise the lord first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 i'll be teaching on something along the lines of first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 helping us to understand certain realities as far as kingdom legislation is concerned one of my greatest uh, prayer for us is that we are trained and equipped not just to see miracles this is a ministry that god has blessed with grace for miracles signs and wonders but i am passionate about inculcating 
and transferring spiritual understanding in believers you can know the efficiency of a man of god by the quality of the useful spiritual information listen carefully not just random spiritual information the quality of the useful spiritual information that is transferred to the average member not the ministers not the leaders their 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 level of spiritual excellence can be for obvious reasons but that when you when you hand pick anyone at random and discuss with the person over basic spiritual truths foundational doctrines in the kingdom and then especially doctrines that relate to our reigning and our victory you should be able to have an intelligent conversation with such a person that is proof that the man of god and that ministry is careful enough i am passionate about teaching the word of god are we together now because it is in the teaching of the word of god that understanding comes and when understanding comes then the grace the fortitude to release your faith through obedience is released upon you so please i want you to pay attention especially for many of us who just come i know some of us have problems and challenges but don't forget don't forget that koinonia primarily is a place of encounter and is a place of growth spiritual growth much more than a place of receiving the miraculous much more than a place of signs and wonders this place will always remain the place of signs and wonders but much more than that this is bethel the place of bread where the hallowed bread of the spirit is open and you receive but much more than receiving that there is an impartation so when you come while you are sitting you see that there is an anointing working in you as the word of god is taught there is an anointing you are not only hearing are we together now you are not if all you are doing is hearing then this is a lecture maybe spiritual in context but it's a lecture what makes it the ministration of the spirit is the presence of the anointing the bible calls us able ministers and it says that we are ministers after the spirit no matter how articulate and how deeply spiritual i am if this anointing this presence factor is not there then it's a total waste of time are we together so i'm saying this so that we must be passionate about growth young and old we come from different spiritual backgrounds and uh, we aspire for a similar spiritual destiny but in the interim our hearts must be open to educate our mind spiritually it's terrible to be ignorant as a spiritual person you don't need to know everything but there are foundational doctrines of the kingdom that you have to know everyone personally not just to have a tape that talks about it not just to have a book that talks about it not just to attend a ministry or to submit to a man or an anointing that knows it it is a revelation that must be inculcated as part of your understanding are you getting blessed now it's very very important your edge in life much more than the coming of the anointing is the awareness and the understanding of the systems of the kingdom how it works when you call someone a master why is he a master every time i want to access my internet banking platform um gtb is one of my banks and i see them marketing something about a food expo that will be done and i see master chefs five or six of them who will be holding master classes all of them are called master chefs i had the opportunity to watch two of those people and i saw the way they demystified cooking they showed that cooking is scientific you can you can predict what will become in a notable level of accuracy that's called a master a master is a master at foundations when you say you are a master that means the foundations of a system are things that you have at your fingertips you're a master driver there is nothing another driver 
does not necessarily know it's just that you are a master at that foundation you can turn a car sideways and still be driving it now that's mastery the same tools that someone uses is what you use but with a level of competence that produces a result everything you will need for victory is accessible to everyone but how we engage it is where the difference is. So I not only want us to be sound in the word, to be able to quote scriptures, blood of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost. There are very ignorant things that believers do that is a pain to the heart of the Father. We should be able to grow spiritually in understanding, to be able to know what to do, what to engage, how to live in this kingdom. You see, the goal of this teaching, you're coming every week, is not just to prove that a man is called of God. There is a system of spiritual mentorship. Are we together? Your life should become something exact with time. You should begin to have an appreciation of the ways of God. That a time can come, you are well equipped to be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom without fear because you know what should happen and if and when what you want is not what happens there is a system you are aware of that can compel things to come to the obedience of Christ if you're with me say amen first Peter chapter 2 and verse 9 here's what it says but ye are a chosen generation now this is a very interesting word because there were many generations many generations in fact many dispensations the word generation there does not necessarily mean just an age range you know physically we have a bio a biological and physical definition of a generation a particular age range for some 0 to 15 some 0 to 30 make up a generation that's not what god is talking about here he's the word generation there's a word race race of people within a particular context of civilization he said that there you are a chosen generation what does that mean there are other dispensations other races of people but your race your spiritual generation has been particularly chosen so you are a chosen generation and this is where i want us to dwell you are a royal priesthood it would have been all right to say you are a priesthood you are priests but it says you are also royalty you are a royal priesthood then it says an holy nation a peculiar people that ye should with all these things the being chosen the priesthood the royalty the peculiarity all of that is to enable you show forth the praises praises the word doxazo the flaunting of a man's glory making his glory known show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light he called you into his light hold on let me help you understand this what makes you chosen what makes you royal what makes you a priesthood what makes you peculiar is the marvelous light you entered are you getting the whole thing now all of that happened because you entered his he called you into his marvelous light whoever enters that marvelous light is fortunate is blessed the bible tells us that some of these prophets saw these things they sought to walk in these dimensions they kept searching for what manner of times the spirit had revealed they knew that there would come a dispensation of men and women who will be granted archives to these things in fact some of these prophets prophesied it but they were not given insight to understand what they prophesied they just spoke it and left it there but the bible says you are fortunate in that you can not just enter his light but his marvelous light the light access to his mysteries he called you out of ignorance darkness the same expression that is used in genesis chapter one darkness void it's the hebrew word tohu abohu darkness ignorance um confusion lack of light lack of hope depression the same expression he called you out of darkness notice he didn't say he called you out of sin notice he didn't say he called you out of witchcraft notice he didn't say he called you out of the devil the major reason why 
Satan seen the devil whatever it is oppressed people was the presence of darkness are you getting what I'm saying now so it's not like Satan was so powerful they are called rulers of darkness every time there is darkness their dominion kicks in and he called you so how does God make people peculiar by introducing them to his marvelous light the Bible says God who had commanded the light to shine out of darkness he says he had shined in our heart to reveal to us the glory of Jesus the, the, the glory of the knowledge of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ the marvelous light that means listen carefully that means although prophetically you belong to a race that the Bible calls a peculiar people and a royal priesthood if you do not accept that that marvelous light is not any light that marvelous light is a spiritual allocation of knowledge that has been given to a dispensation this marvelous light is exact it's not just that God brought you into any light no the light of God is in levels there are certain lights he made to signify seasons to signify times not just the stars in the sky spiritually you would read in the Bible every time prophets would interact with God sometimes he would tell them seal it you have seen this but just close it and keep it in other words it's not for this race of people how David tried David wanted to access the realities of the Messiah David wanted to see redemption he pressed for it pressed for it he saw glimpses of it but could not put it together Isaiah saw the virgin birth isaiah saw god becoming man they all saw pieces of it but nobody because there is a an allocation of spiritual knowledge there is a body of knowledge that is given to a dispensation of people and our generation is very fortunate we are not only fortunate because we are spiritual people we are, we are not fortunate because we are better than smith wigglesworth listen carefully we are not fortunate because we are better than all these saints the puritans and the rest we are fortunate because god by his election of grace not that we ask for it by his predeterminate counsel has chosen to bring us into a, a body of knowledge a body of knowledge that can separate us in experience even those who saw these verses only read about it many of them never walked in the experience let me tell you this there are things written in the bible that are not for everybody there are things written in the bible that sometimes are for an individual sometimes are for a race and those individuals not everything written in the bible was for people of old there are things written in our generation there are things written about you one day you will carry your bible and know this is me the bible says in luke chapter 4 the bible says jesus stood up for to read and it was given to him the messianic prophecy remember isaiah wrote this hundreds of years before jesus and jesus was not the first person to read it i they were talking about a man but who was that man every prophet who had access tried they would check against the reigning prophet and say no this does not fit john the baptist uh -uh, it almost fits but it can't be john and all of a sudden jesus comes and opens up the prophecy of Isaiah and begins to read the spirit of the lord is upon me anybody can appreciate it prophetically but there is an exact person it was written for are we together now look up i'm teaching you something if you read the bible as a book that spoke to someone but just applicable to you you are lying there are things written in the Bible that have not been fulfilled by anybody outside our race. A day will come, you will look at it and know that this word was for our generation. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Give me Hebrews chapter 11, the last verse. Let me show you one of those things. And then we'll come back to this. Hebrews chapter 11. Read let's go let's start from verse 37 and then we'll go to 40 give us from verse 37 they were stoned they were sown asunder were tempted slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins goatskins be destitute afflicted tormented 38 of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in deserts talking about um 
the archives of faith the patriarchs of faith 39 he said all these who are the these all the guys that were part of those who were recorded i hope you know they never had the opportunity to read the bible because we are now reading about them so by the time we were writing about them there was just the um, some of the psalms and the torah and all of that the bible says they received not the promise there was still an expectation in the heart of god and they all did not receive it 40. he said god having provided what some better things for us who are the us the readers not the actors if you never got to read this you were not in that generation it is for those who will read this it says so that they without us as general as they were without us there is there are things written here that no generation has found it will take men of audacity many of us believe that everything that was written in the bible has happened is just a prophetic application no no one day you will open something and see koinonia right there not as a word you will see a chapter of the bible talking about exactly what is happening now many of you will know if i told you that isaiah prophesied about you pastor alpha as a person you may say yes prophetically until the spirit when you are called into this marvelous light listen he never said called into light because god made many lights and every generation partook of a dimension of light but there is a marvelous light the same way he made two great lights all the prophets had dimensions of god and based on what they knew that was all about god in their generation until another prophet came and another generation came with another dimension of god and the bible says here that so that they without us meaning there is something about koinonia that must be added to the bible in heaven then when you now read the saints plus the archives of koinonia it produces perfection Let me just allow you to settle down and then we'll take it again. Listen. I hope you know there is a book in heaven where things are recorded. I hope you know that when Paul was having his little teaching and Peter, the plan was not for that to be captured in the Bible. They were living. Is that true? Imagine, imagine in your mind, 300 years from now, let's assume that Christ chooses to tarry none of us here i believe should be alive there's no reason why i should be on earth then i will be alive but not on earth are we together now now imagine that a young boy of 13 years or 15 years dead is now reading that uh -uh, in 2018 there was a service that service was held by somebody there was a worshiper called sam he's reading a story we are not reading it because we're the actors but the bible says even those who are the readers there is a part for them in prophecy here to fulfill so that when you now combine both the actors and our generation it will create that perfection there is still a desire in the heart of god in spite of what paul has done in spite of what all of them have done there is still a desire in the heart of god that there is a light there is a body of the revelation of god allocated for a generation none of their generation taught people to live in balance one of the problems with every other generation until our own is that there was a traceable imbalance are we together if they were prophets they had problems even during god's generals most of them found god but there was a level of light that was not given imbalance here and there so jesus found where it was written about him about him literally not about somebody that he applied to his life he was the one they were talking about i pray for you huh that one day you will open the bible and see something and god will tell you son i know you may not believe it but this verse was not written to a prophet that you should receive by faith this one 
when i said a man i will raise in the eyes of prophecy anybody can apply it by faith but that man was you that does the bible centrally talks about christ but there are auxiliary revelations about individuals the central message of the scripture is christ but it's not only christ christ is the major doctrine perfect theology the entire focus of the bible is christ but not christ alone his bride he found where it was written about him that a time will come a generation will prosper and that i am sending you and you will think he was talking of joseph until one day you read and god will tell you it is this generation and you are that person listen notice every time god speaks about people he never calls their name everybody has a spiritual name there is a name in the realm of the spirit that men are identified with listen did you ever see the word jesus he said a virgin shall conceive let me tell you how prophecy works and give birth to a son and you shall call that son did you ever hear them call jesus emmanuel please talk to me but did the prophet lie is god's system so you will not find a jimmy but you will find a spiritual name that you know this is me it was written it will be difficult for you to receive because you say out of the six point how many billion people no read the bible the captains of industry today were written bill gates is in the bible all these guys they were in the bible it's not just that they were in the bible the prophet saw them you will not find bill but you will find him there this koinonia you see this meeting you see is in your bible here that you have read bible cover to cover god i'm not talking of something that okay god sent jeremiah oh god like you sent jeremiah you sent me it's not true you see now the surprise i've not even gotten to my message tonight the surprising part is that demons know they are not in ignorance why do you think spirits pursue certain individuals no they of course satan hates everybody but there are certain individuals he will mark them kill for them do everything around them because you may not know that there is something written that there is a part you have to play imagine when i was born I'm sure my mother would just believe that she, she gave birth to whatever it is. You know, I didn't take breast milk. God punished the devil. The, the devil wanted to kill me from birth. I was fed on lactogy because he wanted to destroy me. My mother just felt she was carrying a baby. But if only she opened and saw that a woman will conceive. This is not Mary. Not Mary. That a prophet one day was scanning to a generation and saw they saw the generation of the baptism of the holy ghost with stammering lips and another tongue will they praise they left it as a code every prophecy about you in the bible is a code it must be opened let me tell you what happens i don't know why do you know holy spirit well you are you are the lord of this teaching tonight i don't know what is taking me to this dimension but let me three, tell you three things that happens when the code of your destiny is open from scripture one god changes your name listen let me tell you the concept of the change of name sometimes it can be physical but more than that notice there was nobody whose prophetic word opened and a name was not given to him now read your bible cephas saul paul abraham abraham sarai sarah read your bible you see there thou art peter it didn't say your name is peter peter you have found it you have found it they have been calling you selfers but something open your you are peter found it you found it 
I, you know sometimes when i share these things in my spirit i just i want to be as simple as possible one of my goals as a man of god is not to bamboozle you with complication my goal is to communicate understanding because there are all kinds of people but sometimes you see it's very difficult very difficult to teach these things because you may never know if god appears to you now he will not call you by your father's name he will call you by your name in the spirit you will hear it this is what i'm trying to tell you you will never hear god say a jimmy no 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 a name is a code when you use an atm there are people who use machines let me tell you if this thing does not happen to you there are dimensions of prophecy about your life that will never happen that's why people erroneously just go and carry a name after baptism oh your name is what's your name tosin it just oh my name is, is victory too and you know wonderful but you just call your name a carnal name you were strolling to the swimming pool and they said make sure you have a name what name do we put there just say john or james and you find out no there was a man sent from god but the name was given i'm sure that the father would have called him something but the angel said no 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 something had been concluded from heaven the name that opens this man's destiny is called john he said no 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 he shut his mouth until he revealed to the wife so when you see certain things you will just see that god says a woman shall arise in a generation and she shall be called a helper you may not know what it means you will start thinking it's not it may be you but you never know you are the one until the season comes when you enter this marvelous light the body of knowledge allocated for whoever should walk in it then you'll find out that you will open it and all of a sudden grace 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 just opens you up the name joshua was not given to me by my father the name joshua was given to me by god my biological father and mother did not call me joshua our ignorance in the spirit has costed us a lot of things you shall call him emmanuel jesus comes i thought somebody would say ah oh god make sure make sure you don't miss out your name is emmanuel no when the angel now comes that emmanuel was a code the same angel said you shall call him jesus when the the man blind Bartimaeus, when he saw him he cried thou son of david is the son of david jesus what who is the son of david son of david is solomon so was the man not calling solomon solomon help me he said no that was a wise man the son of david is solomon why didn't jesus say you are lying solomon has gone to be with the lord no thou son of david the one who sits on the throne spiritually are we are you hearing what i'm saying so there are things written in this bible i searched the bible to find out the program of god but i searched the bible too looking lord you it can't just be koinonia this is not just zaria there is something prophetic show me where is it where is it it's not just about this show me many of you just sit down and find a nice scripture you shall build houses you shall repair the former desolations amen of course prophetically is applied to you but let me tell you there is something with your name on it that you can get up and know that this is my meat to do and finish what was written i don't know if it's so for everybody but there are people one of the things that happens to men when they truly encounter god is that something happens to their name what is your name not what do you want jacob the problem with you has to do with your name what is your name have you been given a name from the spirit and he said no my name is jacob see i don't care whether his name was his name was goodness 
the name would still have been changed it's not because he's a cheat and a supplanter no Selman means the way to love is that not a nice name who would not want to give a child a nice name like that God said what are you talking about let's talk about destiny destiny you carry the name you carry the office you carry the crown you carry the scepter every man of God that has ever prophesied to me that didn't know my name never called me my biological name never not once I remember one time I met a dear man of God he's now a dear friend somewhere and he was speaking and he looked at in fact not even i remember a time i think we we're going to was it been a republic I, I i think i can't remember now been a republic for a program and we were there you know all these guys that use divination that can stand in the market and start prophesying to you remember they were trying to clear our, uh, our passport at, at customs and all of that and then i stood close and he looked at me and said joshua he said you see this guy he has seen something in the spirit read your bible Jesus was the man because there was no power in that name no there was no power in that name J-E-S-U-S no 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 you call him Jesus say how are you there's food for you so you will be surprised that many of you have been having dreams and in those dreams certain names are called you by spiritual forces they call you names and you think maybe they are talking about bible actors somewhere why are you go is it that you don't know my name i will never forget one time i was having a dream very prophetic dream um i think i wrote it i can't remember i can't i can't even pronounce it well it was a name that was called and it was an angel of the lord who was calling god a name i checked the bible i didn't find that name anywhere but it was a name like tongues a long name <laughs> what is this i wrote i thought it was greek I'm, uh, let me tell you i studied the bible very very well i'm not a lazy person i checked it checked lexicon check everything i just saw some nonsense started coming out but rubbish some of these zodiac things i said no 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 i checked it very well i said but what is this name very long name that was called if someone introduces that name now that person is going to be in trouble what name which one he is called what what name no but the bible says there is a marvelous light allocated for a generation we thank god for what they did the goal of studying the Bible is not just to stop there. The goal of studying the Bible is to understand God's character and by His Spirit continue, continue. What we are living now is being recorded in heaven. It will be read and there are people who will learn from it. It's not just because there is no spiritual archaeology, right? No, 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 no. In the heavens, one day you will read. There are gifts of the spirit you see operate here. You may not find them exactly. You can just relate them with one that is close to them. I told you the gifts of the spirit are not nine. They are as unlimited as the spirit himself. Theologically and for the purpose of, of spiritual administration, we focus there. But they are not nine gifts of the spirit. There are dimensions that the evil in this day requires. The evil in the then day did not require some of these dimensions. So they were sealed and left for our generation. Are we together? The level of deception in our generation is too high. There are other gifts that must be opened. People go for war and they hide different sets of weapons based on the attack. There are times that when the aggression gets bad, they now, they're all nations of the world have certain weapons that no other nation has seen every some are hiding it in the sea some are hiding it somewhere when the going gets tough then they will bring out those arsenals that's how it is spiritually 
why am i saying this to us listen carefully you will find yourself walking in very deep spiritual dimensions that if you are not guided you may think it is occult or it is witchcraft and you will throw away the dealings of the spirit just because it is strange now you must be guided don't get me wrong don't dabble into all kinds of spiritual things and destroy yourself but many people have just camped around the stories of the past wonderful but brothers and sisters there is what god is doing and the bible says that we are a chosen generation we are a royal priesthood a holy nation hold on who was saying this who was saying this Huh? do you know who was saying this 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 was peter the apostle saying but ye who was he talking to that means he was not there but you read it now did you learn it didn't say but we but you the people i'm talking to you are a chosen generation i'm not in your generation revelations let's go to the bible let's go to the bible Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. Please sit down. Revelation chapter 5. Is God helping us tonight? See, sometimes God just disorganizes me like this. Revelation chapter 5. Let me show you something. <laughs> Let's read from verse 8. From verse 8 to 10. Now, look at this. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. So, the four living creatures, twenty-four elders. Are we together? The Bible says they fell down before who? The Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open its seals for thou was slain and had redeemed the word us there is an error the 24 elders and the four living creatures are not part of the redeemed the word there is redeem them unto god by thy blood out of every kindred talking about inhabitants on the earth out of every tongue and people and nation verse 10 and has made them not us you see the mistake again in translation and has made them unto our god kings and priests and they shall reign the 24 elders don't reign on earth come on now talk to me the four living creatures don't reign on earth they are in the throne room they minister to god translators messed up some of these things and if you don't read by the spirit you will just gather all kinds of things the bible says we have been made unto our god kings and priests and the domain of our legislation is on earth that we shall reign on earth now watch this imagine imagine with me that one of the 24 elders was reading this thing of course you would know it's not them it can't be talking about them and they'll be wondering what generation because they themselves don't know everything nobody in heaven knows everything except god they see in parts too and so they'll be wondering ah, which generation is this going to be fulfilled in and all of a sudden a generation comes brothers and sisters listen let me tell you there are things that will happen in our generation that have not happened before they will not be error because they have been written it is whatever was not prophesied and is done that is error you see that that it has not been done doesn't mean it has not been said there are things that will happen the coming of jesus has not happened everyone who wrote it has gone to be with the lord and yet it has not happened but we know and nobody will argue that it will happen because it has been prophesied so also like the coming of jesus there are many other things that have been written but they were written in coded forms you have to be brought in permit me to use the word like occult you must be ushered in like the freemason call or the illuminati they can call you and say look we want you to become part of this brotherhood to give you access to certain things god has said i have kept this dimension for a generation 
that means no matter how many times abraham fasted he never would have entered certain things we are not entering it today just because we fasted more or we prayed more there's a place for spiritual discipline but that our generation has been chosen say chosen that's the word chosen chosen it's an election of grace that God decided by his predetermined counsel that in a dispensation there will be a people who will be opened other doors and they will see these lights and have access to a dimension of God and reveal to a generation this is what makes us royal priesthoods peculiar people a holy nation called out the same way God called Israel out and showed Israel something no other hedonistic nation could see it was that light it is being called into light that shows that you are peculiar are we together now we have been called we have been called I tell myself I am so privileged to see and to know the things that I know sometimes I read the Bible and I'm not reading a storybook in all honesty and without any sense of pride I read and I say but if I were not Apostle Joshua Selman I would still say this guy whoever they were talking about here this guy must be Joshua Selman now some ignorant fellow will now come and start saying that this guy is claiming he's the Messiah no that, that's not what we're talking about it is finding the scripture about your destiny that opens you up you see when you see a man walking in some results of result there are forces some dimensions of result there are spiritual forces that back up this operation they don't just happen just like that you check your bible you will find Reinhard Bonke there you check your bible you will find Benny Hinn there you check your bible you will find Bin Laden there you check your Bible, you will find ISIS there. They are all coded. The people who did this thing found it. They found it. By divination, some of them were called into the inner courts of the spirit and were told, this is your destiny. You will be an agent of destruction. And he said, really? There are some presidents and governors now that have been ushered by extraterrestrial beings into the archives of the spirit. See your destiny. This is what you will carry. And from birth, they move them like that. Why do you think some of these royal families take time to choose a wife and a husband? You come and say you like them. They say, go away. They go and bring out old books and check and call some people and say, no, the wife should come from so, so, so family. It was prophesied already that whoever will marry prince this or prince that must be from this family they now start finding where that lineage went to and now check and say ah you are from this family do you have a daughter yes where is she and the naive girl is sitting they say congratulations I say what I say just come she thinks she's going no she's something was written about her listen to what i'm teaching you what i'm teaching you is a very deep mystery in the spirit but it's true are we together lo i come as it is written of me in the volume volume one volume two volume three to do thy will it is written of me joshua selman all great things have i spoken of you O zion something is written something you have been reading what is written about others and applying it by faith prophetically yes but there must be something you will find written about you that a jimmy for this purpose i brought you for this time for this and that and that day you stand and you are no longer reading the bible you are reading you so it is true that i will be a deliverer so it is true that one day this will happen jesus read that he was going to die so when he saw death, he did not run away. It was part of his assignment. He knew. God will be so dull to allow major events happen on earth without capturing them here. No. No. A man causing global harvest for the kingdom, Reinhard Bonke, 
and you believe that all he's doing was just an application of what Paul did no sir no sir let's have spiritual intelligence let me tell you this some of you your being in Zaria now has nothing to do with your wish is prophecy it was prophesied since whether you are aware or not is not the issue this gentleman came from Accra Ghana he's been around until one day you will check the archives of prophecy whether written in the Bible or revealed by the Spirit and you will see that God said at this time so 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 person would be here because after such and such a time he will encounter an anointing and he will start something so for that to happen God made sure no other university gave you admission you applied them um, if you applied everywhere but if if they gave you admission there it would jeopardize prophecy so you had to pay the price of five years so that you would be there you see that i would be the last person to believe i should be in zaria by this time what will i be doing here for god's sake but prophecy zaria me doing what Haba. prophecy one day you will meet one old woman in zaria somewhere who used to love god in the 80s she will say my son come let me show you something god told me when i was 22 behold a young man will arise from this soil you will see that's what she will tell you and say god revealed to me that a time will come a move of god will start in zaria i'm now 81 when i was 17 i said lord when will it happen and then all of a sudden a young boy is moving around and the hand of god is trailing him there are many of you seated here do you know why your life is unusual because this thing a verse in scripture has been looking for you and it will never stop until you are found a verse in scripture this bible you see is a gateway it's a portal it's not a magic book it's not just about cramming scripture there's something that has been written about you mighty in this world Mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world. generation perish because you will obstruct prophecy just one carelessness leaving a region when you should not leave alone will destroy your life listen listen to me we are talking prophecy here let me suspend my teaching for tonight for next week but let's just flow with what the spirit is doing listen to me you see a spiritual man is not an ordinary man a spiritual man is governed by many factors the spirit but also governed by the truth everything on earth is like a football 
playing everybody there is something if Ejimi does not do a whole generation will perish if God is merciful then God will raise a replacement but that replacement must arise otherwise some things will not be done there is something if Pastor Alpha does not do in Kogi state that state like this as a territory may never enter certain dimensions it's not just about looking for ministry it's prophecy that you have found it this is my contribution to the coming of Christ this is what the prophet when Isaiah was seeing many things I was part of what he saw this is it this is it let me tell you this hold on there are some of you ladies your assignment on earth is to give birth that's it not to preach your assignment is your room this room you are seeing your assignment there is somebody that has been prophesied that must come out through your womb. If it's another womb, something will be wrong. It must be your womb. Mighty on your mighty on your throne, mighty on my life, mighty. Listen, I want you listen carefully. I know that it's true that we say no man is indispensable. It is true. But let me tell you this. There are men who they are not aligning can cost a generation 30 extra years. Just one person. God will find another replacement, but it will never be the way it would have been. If I didn't answer the call of God upon my life, God's purposes will still be moved. But there are people born again today who would never meet Christ. Their children will never find God. There is a dimension just like you. There is something. You are not just coming for... Let me tell you this. If you ever find yourself in Koinonia that you came alone, you will need to see the spiritual forces you fought. This place is a place of birthing. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's like a place of spiritual registration. You are answering present. They have been calling you. Where are you? John. John. And the Spirit of God says come. And you come and say present. I'm here. I'm here. Where did you come from? Acquire bomb. Now come. There is an allocation for you. It may not look like it now. But let me tell you brothers and sisters. It may not look like it. But believe me. Believe me. There is a place written for you. My dear sister. Don't let marriage issue kill you. There is something here. That's why God is meticulous about you. A guy will come. God is saying yes to everybody. And God will tell the guy, get out of this place. And it's not like he hates him. There is prophecy. That womb is not your own. No. It's for a generation. Mighty on your throne. Listen, I want you to go back and trace the story of how you came to Zaria and trace the story of how you got Koinonia message. It's a miracle. It has to be an angel. No, no, no. It's in, it's in, it has to be spiritual. When you find out, that's when you see that. So this is what was happening. So I am this important. Brothers and sisters, hear me. What happened? was that there was a blast from heaven and all those who must be relevant in God's program not only through Koinonia wherever you are if that trumpet sounds I tell you you must come where it's not whether you want to you can be doing your thing and God said let's go let's go quickly and let me build you sometimes you see listen God acts as if he doesn't pity you no 
he's looking at the generation that are dependent on your obedience and he said not even your tears will make me stop because a woman's destiny is tied to your revealing this dimension of god listen listen let me find somewhere and i just feel let's pray first peter 2 and verse 5 i was actually going to talk about kings and priests the concept of royal priesthood we'll, we'll take that next week but let me just take just one of the aspects first peter chapter 2 and verse 5 one of the primary roles of priesthood the bible says is to offer he say ye also as lively stones listen carefully are being built up into what a spiritual house the house of god the gates of heaven a connection to the heavens you are being built you are what a holy priesthood what is your assignment to offer up spiritual sacrifices listen spiritual sacrifices are many things the constraints that you must go through so that god will be birthed in a generation is a spiritual sacrifice it takes only priesthood to make that happen when i push you people to pray to fast you are being built there is there is a sacrifice like a woman is about to give birth and you say madam eat well be strong because you will need to push the bible says as priests our assignment among others is there is a spiritual sacrifice there is a dimension of god it will take a heavy sacrifice to reveal you must be built built up into that house it says to offer up some of you that sacrifices your body to offer it up some of you that sacrifices your worship some of you that sacrifices your ambition some of you that sacrifices your destiny some of you that sacrifices your certificate that you labored went to school you want to get a job and god says no you will need to lay down that certificate you must be built otherwise your sacrifice cannot be acceptable to offer up you are lively stones you are part of a building hear me koinonia you are part of a building you may be a first timer that just strolled and say wow god see these guys you are using god is saying that you were here you are also part of those stones we have been looking for you where were you we are supposed to be putting lintel now but by now you should have entered a dimension and you are just getting born again anyway hurry up hurry up because there is a space for you in that building you have delayed the building because you refuse to get born again fast when god is saying let me use you the devil is there wasting your time and now you see that there is a space for you how dare you look down on god's people and think it's just only one guy called of god no sir no sir you may not look like it now every one of these people you see you think that they are serving joshua selman they are lively stones there is a part in this building i know we say it prophetically all of us are contributors we don't know what we are saying it is true there is something if Ejimi does not release to this generation god will appear and say Ejimi, why look at he will show you a vision of the woman dying he will show you a vision of another family and said all this were tied to your obedience there are some of you ladies here you don't want to marry but god will look at you and say you must marry say lord i don't want he said then you are selfish because there is a child from your womb who will anoint a child from another woman's womb who will be the one to take over the children and that other child has been born but your own womb it's not just about having children listen listen you see why some people are barren this is what satan is stopping barrenness is not just a, a demon no satan has already seen the program from here okay sam's child will give birth to this oh sam's child and pastor As alpha's child so they are the ones who will preach in that crusade okay stop pastor alpha from having a child so that the program satan does not stop everybody he's selecting he's not stupid he's looking at people who will make a major stoppage
so some of you can just sit down and find out that you got born again and when others get born again they are happy miracle alert but you got born again and for one year is warfare satan is saying this is a big blow to the kingdom why did promise get born again by now you would have remained somewhere ha, what do we do to promise now okay let's make sure his wife is not born again or let's make sure she's barren i told god something i said lord everything i represent to my generation everything that was written about me there are many other people but there is a role and i will play that role in life and death some of you here listen to me this thing tonight is a call by the spirit god is saying look son daughter because of you something is not happening there are songs that you guys are supposed to bring you have been doing music training wonderful but sit down and say lord what are the songs for this generation what are the songs speak to me not just to teach people how to play keyboard and guitar sit down what are the songs what are the songs miriam wrote a song i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously miriam wrote it today we sing it as a song of victory we must write something that our children will read look at these little children there is a heritage we must leave for them that heritage is called a spiritual sacrifice you will pray where you don't need to pray you will fast when you shouldn't it will pain you but every time you want to give up you will remember something was written about me if Anna the prophetess did not pray Jesus would not come home her assignment how can a woman's assignment be to pray and fast for for 60 years i was born madam what is your assignment to pray for who there's a young boy i always see in a vision and god said i called you to pray in the temple till he comes mary what is your assignment on earth a ghost told me i would give birth to a son is that all how about my madam you're a smart lady but that's what he told me if Mary gave birth to any other child aside from Jesus she will still not be featured in the program of God listen to me in this season not everything is important to God you have to find out this present truth what is God saying about my life why am I like this why the attacks at the center of it all it's you that I see. It's you that I see. All these sacrifices. But at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. For there is power in your name. That is a big old the next 10 minutes huh we are going to pray and the prayer listen to me the prayer is Lord yes to your will listen many of us think the call is a call to be a, a preacher or a preacher's wife that's foolish thinking the call is God is saying is a relay you have been delaying people people are standing Lord yes to it yes to it lift your mouth open your mouth blast in tongues and say lord yes 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 to the prophecy that was written about me yes yes as a kingdom financier yes yes as an apostle of the lamb yes yes as a prophet to the nation yes as a mother in israel Shut 
Everybody pray. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. It is written of me, Joshua Selman. It is written of you. Pray. My parents may not have known it. My siblings may not have known it. But there is prophecy upon my life. Relevant to the move of God. Within a generation. Appointed to be a partaker of the marvelous life. Chosen. Chosen. Literally. Chosen and picked by the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When you find what was written about you, you see, let me say this. Look at me. Many of us here, you are going to find out things that were written about you that may not be major. Like Paul was teaching about, um, I, I think it was in 1 Corinthians 12. He was talking about 14, 12, 13, 14. He was talking about the members of the body. Let me balance something here. Some of you are going to discover that the role you have to play in the kingdom may not be as vocal as being the president of a ministry or heading a ministry and you will allow flesh listen please listen everyone listen you will allow flesh intimidate you to mean just because god has called joshua selman to head a ministry let me tell you this i want to show you a secret i'm already i'm already touching my teachings of some months i have a teaching that i'm going to bring here called the mystery of the veil it's a revelation god showed me the veil do you know why the bride in ancient times used the veil because everything glorious is covered the more a thing is in hiding the more the glory that's why the father hides in light listen there is a relationship between glory and the veil are you seeing that now so the parts of your body that we cannot see are the parts that make what we can see work so if you find out that as part of the body you are occupying a position that is not visible it's not a thing to cry it means you carry a higher weight of glory listen yes when please help help when 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 rebecca was brought to be a wife to isaac listen this is a bride on her way going the moment she saw isaac she failed herself i'm a woman of glory she failed herself so your heart you may never see it but let your heart stop working and all your hands do you know all the parts that take people to the hospital are parts they cannot see you just see that the hand is no longer working the leg is not working you go and meet a doctor and say doctor what is wrong they say ah this guy has diabetes just because of something going on inside when you are sick even if they rub something on your hand it's just it is the one you swallow that goes in that you cannot see is the one responsible for your vitality listen i just felt like ministering this some of us our ministry is behind the veil and because of that you may feel very left out there are many ladies you want to be in front there are many guys you want to be in front the greater honor is when you are hiding are you getting that now yes the greater honor 
your blood vessels hiding your blood itself hiding yet that's what carries every other thing to your body are we together but i can see the hand i can see the mouth so you would think the mouth is so important let the heart stop pumping and that's when you will see so there are some of you god is going to call you to ministries that are behind the veil you may be in koinonia you may be anywhere else and you find out that just because i'm a member of the worship team i'm not in ministry is them apostle you are wrong you are even the stronger part some of you are quietly in prayer band 12 o'clock every night you pray for me and you may never think it's a ministry stop praying for me and you will see the attacks on my life that's when you will know that you are more glorious than even me holding the mic have you learned something tonight let me tell you this it's a big secret i learned if you want to be relevant to a generation ah huh, let a majority of your life be hidden if all of you is seen by everybody you are not strong you are not powerful no all your revelation all your rema all your finance oh no a greater part of your life should be hidden look at god god hides in light no man sees him jesus came on earth just three years and he left but many of us are see me i want to be the, the no the happening people are usually the ones that are not even the strongest believe me the electricity that powers this you cannot see it but that is what is moving the fan you are only seeing the fan but there is the electricity some of you are like that so in finding your place let the devil not deceive some of you to just say kai i'm touched by this message i must go and pioneer a ministry or pioneer this and destroy yourself some of you may be in hiding that you are a pastor or that you are marrying a pastor doesn't mean you must be a preacher there is a difference between a pastor and a preacher there is a difference between a pastor's wife and a preacher that you can be a prophet or a prophetess it doesn't mean you are a preacher anna the prophetess was an intercessor 60 60 years or 64 years abraham was a prophet moses was a prophet father show me my place in your program open my eyes to see it open your mouth and pray show me my place pray show me my place in your prophetic blueprint in this season show me Show me, show me my place. Show me my listen to me we are going to pray and say father what sacrifice must i make for this grace to speak in my generation some of you the sacrifice is that you will not marry the person you want to marry some of you the sacrifice is you will have only one child that's the sacrifice some of you the sacrifice is you will have seven children you plan for two but god will say seven because the sixth child is the prophet and so god will say you can't stop some of you the sacrifice is night prayers must continue till jesus comes some of you the sacrifice is you must be rich you can't be poor the sacrifice is your wealth 
for some of you the sacrifice is the anointing you must stay till you find power you must stay till you find power you can't do ministry no 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 you must stay till you find power that's the sacrifice for some of you is utterance you must stay till the spirit of revelation enters you lord i'm willing to make the sacrifice i receive grace open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray i don't know what it will cost me but oh god of heaven i am ready some of us your assignment in life has to be to reveal the power of God no matter how people criticize you if you rob your generation of that dimension then God will never be glorified are we together hear me there are some of you the family you came from that you are not proud of oh my father is an iron bender my, womb, my mother sells Akara in the market. No, that spiritual G was a combination needed for your destiny. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You may not know that Akara seller that you are not proud of and that, that man that you think is just maybe an iron bender, I'm not proud of him. Something came from two of them that is necessary for your grace that background if you came out from any other background aside from that you will never believe what i'm telling you now so god took you some of you are from families that there is no father no mother there is a reason for everything listen when you bring the prophetic dimension of life everything suddenly makes sense i see i see why i'm the only boy in my family I see why I'm the only lady. I see why God allowed all my siblings to grow. And then I later came as last born. If I was born in the same age range, they would never allow me to serve God. I now see the wisdom of God. That's why the Bible says my ways are higher than your ways. You may not know why it's happening. There are some of you, you would have graduated now. But you went and you saw an extra year. And God is saying, stay. God may not have been the one that caused it, but he can use it for his glory. If you, if you travel, you probably would have married somebody now and given birth to a man, not given birth to that prophet. And it is in your staying. Remember, listen, it was so ordained that a woman would be the first to see Jesus at resurrection because women are gates. But the Bible says all the other disciples came and when they looked, they ran away out of fear. But a woman came when she looked she stayed there it is her patient she refused to go as she stayed and stayed and stayed suddenly she saw a man you see that the angels came what is all this there is power in waiting be careful breakthrough is not rush don't compare yourself with other people you will be foolish i don't know who i'm speaking to but god is speaking to someone don't rush your life other people have cars 
I must have car. Or, mm -mm, mm -mm. Be prophetic in your approach to life. There is destiny upon your inside. There is a reason why Joseph had to be a carpenter. To be the earthly father of Jesus. There is a reason why Mary had to be a virgin. It's not an insult on other women who are not virgins. But there was, there was a reason. There was a reason why it was not just Mary's womb. Anywhere Jesus was kept had to be virgin. The donkey he would climb. The tomb he would stay. It was not about Mary. It's a principle. Because he had to be firstborn among the begotten. And the firstborn is the one who opens up things. Anything. If anybody ever came out through the womb of Mary, Jesus could not be the firstborn. Are we together? This is my prayer all the time. I don't live a foolish life. I live a life that is prophetic. I have found where it has been written. When you find this, no matter who persecutes you, no matter what devil comes from where, you just look and say, you, you are entitled to your opinion that is a derivative of foolish perception that is not kingdom. But when you look at it here, you will now see some of you will now see why you have been in Zaria. Lord, why am I here and God will not answer you? Just stay. That's the answer. Lord, let me also enjoy the common sense of living a useful life. And God says, just do what I'm telling you. Stay. Your staying too is an assignment. It takes sacrifice to do every one of these things that you see brothers and sisters but when you know that you owe a generation a dimension of God it constrains you some of you see a Jimmy here training people and helping people to be wealthy there are people who can just look and say ah this guy likes money it's a burden it's ministry there is a generation that needs it you see why we're particular on all these are doctors because we don't just want people who give people injection and prescribe drugs. If that's all you do with your life, then you are not very useful to the earth. Because there are many of you already. But when you find your place in life, there are people when we give back to, we rejoice because of what happened. Listen, let me advise people here. If you are pregnant here or you have given birth, stay with God to name your child don't get up this this these names we give children that are a product of carnality sometimes people are drinking beer and then somebody somewhere you don't need to call anybody in the village to say what is the name of my child they can suggest stay with god and find out what is the destiny of this child don't say i've always liked james what are you saying we have destroyed the lives of people some of you are carrying names today that frustrated your destinies like Jabez because it was not from the bowels of the spirit that those names were given Satan made sure that he changed your destiny by changing your name are we together I may not advise you to go and change your name but let me tell you sincerely 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 names are spiritual names are spiritual Saul in the New Testament after the resurrection still his name was changed to Paul why didn't they say former Saul Paul the apostle of the Lamb names are so important the foundation of heaven is made with names 12 names make up the foundation of heaven not your house so your name can serve as a foundation of your life nonsense demonic names that have attracted trouble to people the bible says jabez jabez was angry the mother named him in sorrow the guy got up an innocent person trouble from the left and right i told you about a gentleman who the mom cost him she gave him a name she may not call him a name but she told him that until rat stops stealing he will never stop stealing that's a name 
a name is not it's a system of identification give him a name that guy will come out of prison now just they will advise him he will sit down they will counsel him two weeks is back because a name if God helps that guy and he encounters a true apostolic and prophetic ministry and that embargo is lifted in his life it's not that's, that's how he will remain he will give birth to a child the child will carry the name when these things leave people they don't leave the earth they still wait for violators and come upon them the leprosy of Naaman it left Naaman but he was still there and Gehazi made himself through greed as a scapegoat he came and said calm down please my master just made up his mind there's there's something can you give me I said, oh, no 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 why not while he was giving the leprosy he was hearing go to this man and his generation and a prophet confirmed it look at how a stupid man enslaved his generation because of greed do you not know that the sacrifices that you make today is not just for you it's not just for your children listen to me it's not just for your children's children when god say young man for the next 20 years of your life make sure every night you are praying oh god what is it for when god is saying that he's looking at your 18 year old son and an encounter that we need to come to that child and he says continue to pray it it may not make sense but continue some of our parents prayed non-stop for 25 years for some of you to be here is that true they prayed every night no matter how tired you are sleeping you hear mama praying oh god use my children you are snoring away your destiny your mother prayed some of them they prayed till they died that's the prayer you hear god is changing your name to start an order our generation shall praise your name 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 Father, tonight you have dealt with us in such a dimension that we are grateful. Lord, I know you are building us. There is something you are doing in us. We may look ordinary, but there is not only destiny upon our lives, there is prophecy. Something was written in the Bible that addresses us directly. And Lord, we vow a vow as a generation that we will not fail you. We vow. We will arise and fulfill our destiny. We will arise and recover all that was lost. Let us arise in mighty victory. We will arise. Yes, we will arise. I will arise and fulfill the prophecy. I will arise. And recover all that was lost. I will arise in mighty victory. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. there are friends God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad 
but because they are an interruption to prophecy you must let them go there are relationships God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad but they are an interruption to prophecy listen carefully I'm rounding up there are geographic locations God is speaking to for some of us not because he's bad but because it's an interruption to prophecy your priesthood demands that you make spiritual sacrifices listen to me some of you are crying I see people crying don't be afraid don't be ashamed of your tears it is costly to carry the glory it is costly to carry Shekinah I can tell you this firsthand I am a student in the school of sacrifice I know what sacrifice is your time your life your energy yes. you are never we are rounding up I want you to listen to me especially those of you outside anything valuable comes at a cost my brother my sister listen to me it will never be at a platter of gold no you will not carry a financial mantle at a platter of gold no you will not carry a true anointing for a generation not for a service not for a program not for a convention the mantle for a generation no. some of you it will cost you your nutrition and your dieting Will fast till you fast your life out but it's a sacrifice for some of you to cost you the cost will be loneliness because he's calling you to be a seer you will not be a public figure we keep you. Sacrifice. for some of you the call upon your life listen carefully the prophetic call is not something that you just sit down prophesy names and numbers there is a spiritual sacrifice let me tell you I say it with all humility this man you see standing has blood dripping from him from the left and the right this anointing you see doesn't just happen just because a man loves God don't just admire power until you see what is behind the veil are we together you don't just talk and people are falling down like that people are not idiots this is not going to listen to a man's message it's not just going to youtube or getting messages and listening and no 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 sacrifice many preachers will tell you listen we're rounding up many preachers will tell you it doesn't matter it matters it matters this is a realm and a dimension I'm walking in I can tell you how to get there take sacrifice your night will have to be turned to an altar if it's power you want you will need to learn when to turn the plate upside down even at your own sacrifice if your belly is your god you have you have you have prostituted away the opportunity for power hallelujah you will hardly see me moving around on this you think listen i'm a human being i have a life sometimes i want to stroll around too just like others and go and be happy sometimes i want to move around too and enjoy life like others but the call or the prophecy or the assignment it's not because i'm a public figure no sometimes i also want to go on vacation am i not a human being can't i honestly go on vacation and go and rest There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares, 
and weights and worries cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life but there are weights 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 there are weights oh God may those weights give way right now in the name of Jesus can an angel is standing close to you and I'm seeing oil being poured upon you and the Lord is saying again I will visit your family again I will visit your family again I will visit your family Lord let that oil be poured upon him for his family the Lord is saying again I will visit your family again I will visit your family that's what the Lord is saying again I will visit your family and this time around it will be with power again I will visit your family my dear may the Lord anoint you it's an anointing that is coming upon you may the Lord anoint you you are weak in the spirit I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, you took my pain away. Then you give me joy You're my peace, my melody In the center of the storm You gave me a brand new song To sing to you That's why I will lift up my voice And say, yeah, 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 yeah The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes Beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby it's not even somebody as old as this this is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick i don't know if it's inside or outside the lord wants to heal that person go dear go dear go dear Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. 
Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam, will, there will be a prayer session and I will pray for your son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. Do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. It's an awakening. I break the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire. In the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in Oshrin? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire, it's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that live. Everything that does not name the name of Christ, may it live come this gentleman you it's time to respond to the dream you had come these are wicked forces of darkness tying your life and your destiny down with delay father in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of God that demonic dream and the experience that had that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last person and then will just come, my dear. This lady. No, yes, come. You now, yes. Let no man despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. Let no one despise you. Let no one despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels, that the excellency and power may be of God and not of men. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love.
love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise her, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. Turn to your neighbor and say, Are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody, all those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from birth, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen Peter and John, follow me closely, about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fasten, fastening his eyes upon him with John said look on us and this is the key verse verse 5 let's read together one to read and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something expecting to receive something when he said look on us they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something as i began to pray and say lord what would i share with your people the lord said the only thing i need from them is expectation 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 is a proof of faith expectation is a proof that you trust god hallelujah if you if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end expect the lord to visit you expect to step into new levels of the anointing expect that no matter what the challenge is the power of god can step into your life it does not take time it only takes the spirit of god for where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the lord is not there is no liberty i want you to know that the spirit of god is in this place tonight and the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant. Expectant. Lord, I expect to be healed. I expect that you will wipe my tears. I expect that this situation in my life will change at once. I expect it. I expect it. Do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant. That's the only message the Lord asked me to give us tonight. Expectation. Expectation. Expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered. Expect that that which you came down. See, don't look at the situation. Just be expectant. Be expectant. The greatest enemy to expectation is your past. Your history. Your track record of failure. Your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before. But I fasted before. It says forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday. I press. Everyone say I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Just for two 
to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. Hallelujah. In one minute, mention everything you came with as a challenge. And say, Lord, the time has come for your grace and your power. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in 
come in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We're starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That breaker anointing. I release it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside. I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing. Right now, that breakthrough anointing right now. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes like a mighty rushing wind. The breakthrough anointing, the breakthrough unction. Enough of that level, enough of that dimension. I speak it, I declare it, I prophesy it, and I release it. Take it. From your belly, out of your belly, let it gush like living waters. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly, shake it, 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 that breaker anointing. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, for out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata rekete tekete bekata taboskata embrata kata shekete lekes from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being, from your innermost being, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought. Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. 
there are people here right now listen you came here because you are confused there is no direction you are trusting God for direction you have prayed but there is nothing to do you need direction desperately lift your hands Lord I pray wherever they are right now by the light of the spirit my father locates them receive direction right now receive direction right now marital direction academic direction receive direction receive direction I put it in your spirit by the light of God I put it in your spirit by the light of God I put it in your spirit by the light of God by the light of God by the illumination of the spirit direction you will hear that voice you will hear that voice you will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now marital just keep your hands just do what I'm telling you to do hallelujah now hear me there are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny but there are horns and powers that has kept them down you may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this lift your hands father in the name of Jesus I release you right now I release you I release your family I release your sisters that power that has held your marital destiny hear the voice of the Lord that power that has stopped marriage in your family I speak in the name of Jesus be loose right now 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 hallelujah now lift your hands I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit and so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness 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 there is someone who came here with that situation I don't know if it's a couple or somebody you are expecting a miracle desperately let me have that one person come out I'm going to pray for everybody right now but we need to break that yoke right now we need to break that yoke right now there are families tied down there are families tied down when you identify that person the person can come out lift your hands let me pray no the Lord wants the family to come out first come out first Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, 
the church tried to call her, she didn't answer, so I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. She I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Ogasa. Do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me, but I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I God established. Is helping you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. But it's like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined. The Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life. And I open the fountains of fruitfulness the Lord showed me two boys two girls and I released them to your life this power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now in the name of Jesus I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, come. Where are you from? Kaduna too? Ka Zaria. Yeah. Zaria, here. Yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough? Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health yes. in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man, one who will love you and fear the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine. 
have refused to bear fruit in different areas others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it i pray for you right now every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness where are those people who barrenness have held their lives where are those people in the name of jesus let fire come upon you now let fire come upon you now i destroy the hold of barrenness everywhere in this building i break the chains of barrenness 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 hallelujah hallelujah this row can you lift your hands just this row just this row just keep your hands lifted I see a wind blowing through this room. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this room. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 To the front. In the name of Jesus Christ anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness right to the back in the name of Jesus be set free hallelujah now lift your hands I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight is not just for you, but for every family you represent. So there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered. Not just for themselves, but for their families and the families you represent. Lift your hands. Father, in the name that is above all names, I'm praying. There are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people. Appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories i speak in the name of jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of God's people in the name of Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted Lord where are those people let the sword of judgment 
Find them now. Let the sword of judgment. Find them now. Let the sword of judgment. Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister, there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature, the compelling character of women. I pray right now, anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you're seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Sh 
Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All of you who have come out, I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Yep. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now. When that happens, then it will allow us to pray for the sick. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Be discerning, be spiritual. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, miracles everywhere.
done it before. You will do it again. I see miracles. Today, today, forevermore. Out of one I see out. miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. You have done it everywhere. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. I see miracles. Jesus, he will work well now, and that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. Tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. Of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah! I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated, Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell Him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. Change 
From today, no witchcraft power will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
God. God is able to do just what He said He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. No, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Cause He won't give up. saw this and it caught my attention. This looks like a medical thing. What's this for? It's supposed to help me stretch my fingers. It's to help you stretch your fingers. Yes, sir. They can't, they are not working. For eight months. Your hand. Yes, sir. For how long? Eight months. Why? It just started uh, after I started playing the guitar. You started? Playing the guitar. And playing guitar? Playing. Yes, sir. See strips, things. He has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play unto the glory of God. Oh, you, you want play, to play for a club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. You Hallelujah. That's how he keeps Please, robbing sir. the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. You cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned, you cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Oh, uh -huh. 
If we lift our hands, He will lift us up. We're not praising, we're not praising. Oh, you're saying oh, you of God. Can we say it again? If we call to Him, He will run to us. If we run to Him, He will run to us. He will lift our hands, He will lift, lift us up. Come now, pray. Say, oh, sing for joy to God. Oh, sing for joy. To him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's our God. One time, if we call to him, he will run to us. He will run to him, he will run to us. He will lift our head. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail your name, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell.
what the Lord has done. He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing. Oh, say, yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing. I say, yeah. I say, yeah. yeah. I say, yeah. Today we know, Baba. I say, yeah. I say, yeah. submit your prayer request. We are going to give God a hot hot praise as we pray on this. Three to five minutes of hot praise. Dance out every nonsense out of your life. This name was Worship team, are you ready? This name I like that guy. Mind. That's ah, no, no. This name is Duma. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Steve. This name is Duma. Give a lot of dance and a shout of praise. The Lord a dance at the shop. Am I bummy rubber bar for bow go jare?
This kind God does. Said I never, 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 ever see a kind of this kind God does. Say blessed be this kind God does. I never see your typo. I never see your typo. This can go do. I never see your typo. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Give the Lord your best dance. Give the Lord your best shouts. Give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's worthy. it. Aha. Uh -huh. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request 
represent the challenges of your people. This request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny. This request threatens the advancement of your kingdom in our lives. We pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how impossible the situation is, oh God, I pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, and I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, seketeketepaka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos katabalatapa, rebeketeketeketepeledebos. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. 
it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and might the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah i pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities hagar listen hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water i pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of may man brought us the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you i release it upon you now i release it upon you now where men see obstacles may you see opportunities where men see stumbling blocks may you see stepping stones in the name of jesus the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear fear has kept many people from moving forward fear of everything fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step i cause that fear now i cause that fear now i cause that fear now when they got to the red sea they were afraid and when moses went before the lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust god take the step and die taking it let it be that it was god that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses others may trust in chariots but for us we trust in the name of the lord and everything we do in the name of the lord he said whatsoever you do in word and in deed do it in the name of the lord i pray for you again fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up fear has stopped people from applying in places high places they think they are not qualified fear has stopped many of us fear has stopped you from starting the building project who said you are too young so long as god gives you the signal there are some of us all of us are adults in our house but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear you have ten thousand go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there tell the devil i'm coming look let me tell you you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if i perish i perish 
I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete lepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life I pray for every ministry represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory I pray for every business represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every job represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every family represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every destiny represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory 
the Bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over I pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth I release it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ And I pray for you in a name that is above all names. Every habit, every issue, every challenge, every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity, that is eating up your work with God. You love God, but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin. I pray for you. The hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense. The grace of God picks you out of that limitation. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Grace to say no to everything that is ungodly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray a special prayer for our brothers. I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility. One more time. I curse from your life and your vicinity. Every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success i curse that mindset in the name of jesus from today i release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of jesus christ i pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the Lord God Almighty will be your defense. The Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost. Restoration, 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 restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit i command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of god i command a restoration for you in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you all through the remaining part of may into june let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of jesus christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from god to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you i pray listen listen samuel had already been ordained i mean saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find samuel and they kept searching and he could not find samuel until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him. You can be one anointing away from the next level of your life. You can be one prophetic impartation away. You can be one destiny helper away. I pray again for you. Whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of Samson, of, of Saul. Whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you. May this be the season they find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally I pray for you. Nothing will rob your joy this month. This will be. The month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life wherever you are make your way to the front right now we have one minute for this God bless you God bless you as you come God bless you as you come don't wait for anybody to be the first to come make your way God bless you God bless you they are coming inside and outside celebrate them koinonia God bless you as you come Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me God bless you as you come don't be ashamed he will give you a new beginning and he will supply grace that you will go higher and higher higher and higher keep coming young and old keep coming run to Jesus keep coming in the name of the Lord Jesus don't sit back hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is this is a confession that brings salvation unto you say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord I receive of your life I receive of your spirit and I declare that from today my sins are washed away I am a brand new person the hand of God is upon me I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is not of God I take authority over it I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life in Jesus name Amen Amen and Amen I want to congratulate you for making this decision it's the best decision you can make this decides your eternal destiny Hallelujah now I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details they will welcome you more warmly and then will communicate to you through them God bless you this way draw that baby baby this way no, 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 no. You have done, and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my praise. We magnify. Hallelujah. Praise. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you, bless you. Come on, Koinonia, you can do better than this.